Now, speaking of thinking like a bird, I was interested when you were doing the hummingbirds uh, paintings, mm -hmm. and you were talking about a the baby hummingbird having this fuzzy, feathery on its back, mm -hmm. like this oh, some kind of moth that could okay. that the caterpillars have. Yeah, yeah. Ir the, irritating hairs. Right. Well, um, like, I'm actually going to talk about that tonight. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a it's a what I consider probably the second example of Batesian mimicry known in birds. Uh, the first was an incredible bird called the Cenarius mourner uh, from the Amazon region of Peru. Um, and that has a baby that looks like a very, very uh, poisonous flannel moth caterpillar. Okay. Now these caterpillars are so poisonous that brushing the hairs on them can send you to the hospital. Wow. And we have so those? We do. They, they're, yes, they're the flannel moth um, and it's, it's a little yellowish white very cuddly, but you don't wow. want to touch it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So um, my thought was that the stringy yellow down on the backs of the baby hummingbirds resembled that hair on the on the flannel moth caterpillar. And from there, I started thinking, well, why would they want to look like a caterpillar? Oh, that's the poisonous mm -hmm. one. So that made a lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to talk about that tonight. It's yeah. not anything that has been proven by mm -hmm. experimentation or anything, but. When you consider that a baby hummingbird lies in the nest for as long as 31 days, it's extremely vulnerable over that period of time. So it does behoove it to look like something nothing would want to eat. Yeah. So they're very bizarre looking. That's that's amazing. I, yeah. I found a couple of hummingbird nests. Mm -hmm. I've never really found one myself. Mm -hmm. Other people said, see that thing that knot on that branch? Right. They pointed there. out and to I'm you. Like, oh, Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, you know, hiding and camouflaging is their only defense yeah. because, uh, of course, the blue jays are murder on them. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. go in and that's, pick them out. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And one other, one other uh, story was as the uh, cuckoo, the yellow-billed cuckoo, mm -hmm. not the prettiest chicks. No, but probably the most fascinating the, chicks. The, that what's I with this with? mouth? Thing? Yeah, they've got they've got these beautiful um, pearls inside the mouth, which are these white, big white spots. And uh, the actual uh, function of those might be uh, adhesive. Uh, the one woman who has done a study on cuckoos, see these big white spots here? Um, uh, she actually studied them by looking out her kitchen window with a spotting scope and writing down everything that happened. And cuckoos are very, very interesting because they are extremely precocial for an altricial chick, and okay, there's a bird okay, that yeah, lies yeah, in the yeah. nest, you know. By day two, a baby cuckoo is able to perch on the rim of the nest and snap at passing insects. Wow. Day two. Wow. When most birds are just lying yeah, prone, yeah, yeah. right? So um, she noticed that when the uh, the parent would bring in these enormous insects like uh, katydids and grasshoppers, they didn't bother to knock the legs or wings off them at all. They brought them in whole and they stuffed them in the baby's mouth. When they would start to take it back out and readjust it so it could swallow it more easily, they would pull on it and the baby would come up with oh. it. So she thought that maybe those white Whoa. things had a had a suction, you know, a way to sort of grip maybe a non-stick kind of. <laughs> but uh, that's that's one theory. You know, it might also stimulate the parent to feed them yeah, too, yeah. you know, visually. That's amazing. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of cool stuff just, out there. There is a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. Like, you, like you say, just right in our own backyards, mm -hmm. right in our own neighborhoods, mm -hmm. right here in Ohio.